Queen and Slim after a Tinder date, two African Americans are questionably pulled over by a police officer who proceeds to search the vehicle. When things escalate and the police officer ends up dead from an act of self-defense, the titular Queen and Slim find themselves on the run from the law. Queen and Slim is okay. It's a film that puts its focus on the characters, their motivations and the themes and messages surrounding them, rather than what they're doing. This means that the act of escaping from the law becomes less and less important to the film as it progresses, which results in a film that is torn between being a thriller and being a drama. The thriller aspects involving characters sneaking around, stealing cars, holding up gas station attendants, etc. are good. They're probably the highlights of the film, adding some much needed excitement to proceedings. However, outside of these moments, the film is slow and cumbersome. It's a little disappointing, especially when the first 10 minutes does a great job of establishing the characters and the scenario and getting to the point. What sets this film apart from others of its type are its themes and messages. Clearly, the writer and director had something to say about race and the law. The messages are very important and come across pretty well too. There are a couple of elements that could have done with a little more fleshing out though. For example, in the background there are a series of protests being made about Queen and Slim. These result in riots and fights and so on. As a result of focusing on Queen and Slim, we don't see any of the build up to these protests. Meaning when we do see them, they feel rushed and forced. Somewhat similarly, we never see the police hunt for Queen and Slim. Without going into spoilers, this causes the ending to feel a bit abrupt. In relation to the ending, not only is it drawn out with unnecessary epilogues, there is a significant issue in regard to representation. Again, without spoiling it, the end scene features a moment which immediately makes assumptions about a specific race and profession. It's unusual because it's either a mistake, or it's a deliberate attempt from the writer and director to make a very impactful, almost aggressive point. A point the majority of the film is trying to explain in far less subtle ways for a different race. The main focus of the film are the characters, specifically the titular Queen and Slim. Across the board, the film is well acted and well cast, with each character, including the supporting ones, having their own quirks, likes, dislikes and so on. Daniel Kaluuya comes across as very likeable and down to earth, while Jodie Turner-Smith is mostly annoying. In fact, almost everything Jodie Turner-Smith's character does is at odds with what should be done. Every act she takes only makes the situation worse. It's annoying and bizarre, especially when she's established as being a lawyer and therefore a person with some degree of intelligence. Her stupid actions are really at odds with the development and backstory of the characters, often coming across as forced and as a necessity for the plot. In terms of production, the cinematography is great, almost every shot in the film looks like a painting of sorts, with mood lighting and framing. Similarly, there's a jazzy score to the film, this sets the mood really well, but it also fits in with the themes and setting of the film. Queen and Slim is okay, it has some great characters and thrilling moments, but it struggles with a slow pace and a slightly over long ending. The themes and messages about race and the law are well told, making the film stand out from genre films akin to it. If you've liked this review, consider following me on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore Grant Burton. Also, subscribe to my channel to get more content like this.